friends, welcome to the Big Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked, and today it's time for a city update. In today's city update, I'm going to show you guys how I fitted in the 10246 detective's office in my Lego city. I'm also going to show you how I fitted in a mock I did recently in my Lego city as well. And lastly, I'm going to tell you a bit about the plans I have for further development of my Lego city. So without further ado, let's head over to Bakersville and see how everything is going. Welcome to Bakersville, everybody, and thank you for coming out. It's great to have you all here. I've really been looking forward to making this city update because there's been a lot of stuff going on and I've been building and building and building. So let's have a closer look. The first thing you might have seen that's going on in Bakersville is that there's a helicopter that looks like it's looking for a dinosaur and a certain Mr. Chris Pratt seems to be here as well, maybe looking for a velociraptor named Blue. I wonder where she is. Let's hope they find her before she gets into any more trouble. Meanwhile, it seems there's a couple of pirates duking it out at the top of the Parisian restaurant. I guess they might be fighting over that treasure map that's lying on the roof as well. And it also seems that Benny is still speeding around town looking for his astronaut friends. Atop the Lego store, it seems there's a couple of Santa Clauses duking it out with lightsabers and I wonder what they might be dueling about. On the roof of the potion shop, it seems that Robin Hall and Christian from Brick Life Crisis is enjoying the rooftop garden. Robin Hall looks like he is interested in the tree up there and Christian from Brick Life Crisis looks like he's playing with the cat. On the roof of the bank, the boxer lady is chasing two shady characters that looked like they were breaking into the bank in the last city update. If you haven't seen that, please go check it out. On the top of the Red Cop Cafe and on Ernest's bookshop, it looks like Benny's space squad is hanging out. Lenny seems to be doing some repairs on the Red Cop Cafe sign and the other two astronauts are being very inquisitive about a strange flask on the roof as well. And they've done a wonderful job of parking their little moon buggy. At the sweet shop it seems that Lester is going to buy an ice cream and Sabadak is also heading in there maybe to buy some sweets as well. And beside the sweet shop there's a group of children being told to stand clear of the heavy construction equipment. The construction people are trying to move a rock and split it into atoms to make ready for the new buildings that's going to be put in to Bakersville. While some construction workers are working hard in Bakersville, it seems that others are taking it a bit more slowly. It looks like some of them has gone out for pizza. Next 
next to the construction site, Lego Maniac and Kaz from Blockhead UK is looking very intently up the top of a lamppost. I wonder what they're looking at. It looks like it's an owl. I would have expected them to be looking for Legolomaniac's cat, Vega, but she is nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she is. Further down the street there is a minifig on a scooter that's being pulled over by a policeman. I wonder if she is in trouble. In the middle of town, Dr. Kilroy and Professor Jones seem to be pretty baffled about a couple of creatures that's looking at a cell phone lying on a bench. If I was to guess, it seems that these two creatures have never ever seen such a device before, and the doctors Jones and Kilroy look pretty surprised to see the creatures. At the end of the street, there's a street food market with a coffee shop, a pizza van, and the Ninjago fruit and fish stand. There's a group of people enjoying the coffee and a couple of ninjas enjoying a couple of pieces of pizza. I guess they might be pizza ninjas. Behind the pizza van, Brixenville and Maniac for Bricks are hanging out and having a chat about Lego. It looks like they're having a great time. At least, they're both smiling. In front of the Lego store there's a lot of work going on and a couple of workers are trying to tile a new sidewalk while another worker is transporting new Lego boxes for the Lego store. A couple of policemen are guarding the Lego boxes while the delivery is going on. At the foot of the Big Bank there's a group of police folk trying to monitor the situation on the roof. They've brought their mobile command unit so a larger police action might be taking place in a few moments. I'll tell you a bit about the plans for the further development of Bakersville. As you can see, the detective's office is right here, but that's only a temporary placement. It's my idea to move this building on an angle so it'll stand right here, having its front over here and pointing this way. And that's because I want another building in this corner, and I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that it's gonna be hidden behind these two buildings, more or less. That idea sprung to mind because I've seen a lot of mocks based on the Ninjago theme and I thought I could do something like that for my city too. Of course I've built the potion shop that's right over here and we'll have a look at that in just a second but I thought of something different that looked good in this corner right here so you can look forward to that. Those modifications mean that this sweet shop right here will eventually leave Bakersville, but I hope to be putting in something that is a little more unique. As you can see here, I put the potion shop over in this corner. Now, I really wanted this potion shop to have sort of a back alley feel, and this is one of the ways I think I could achieve that. For now, the Lego store is acting like a corner building right here, but that will change. The Lego store is just here for temporary purposes. I'm gonna put in the brick bakery brick bakery in this corner and I really look forward to starting that mock. You can also get a sense of how I am going to integrate roads into Bakersville. Now this is a road right here, this one is eight studs wide and that's how wide I think all the roads in Bakersville are going to be. I am not gonna leave them studded like this, I will be tiling them with black tiles to give them a little more contrast to the sidewalks. 
using eight studs wide roads give me a lot more room for building stuff and that's what I am looking for. That also means that these three base plates right here are still in there as a temporary measure. The width of this sidewalk right here is pretty much the width of the roads I'm thinking about putting into Bakersville. And that means that these areas right here are left for me to build stuff and that's gonna be great. In the end I hope to have an inverted Y road that goes right here and right here. Now that means I've got all this area here to fill up still. I don't know if I'm going to put in buildings or a park or something like that, but I do know I want to build something. If you have any kind of suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know if you can tell, but I am very excited to be building Bakersville. I really enjoy coming up with the stories, the mocks and all the planning for the whole city and how it's going to look. It is so much fun. I hope you are enjoying it just as much as me. And if you have any ideas, suggestions or just something you want to comment, please put it in the comments below and I'll be happy to hear it. But that's all for me today. I hope you'll comment, like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys next Monday. Monday.